Um, hello, Leo. You want to talk? Hi, Raji. Hi. Thank you so much for the sharing. Um, yeah, it's the first time that I speak to you. Um, I've been attending for a few times now. Um, at the pre-meditation, you mentioned that uh, what are you doing? That question and check in with the breath. But what I'm noticing is that you're not thinking, but I feel things in my body that are associated with emotions and thoughts. And when you sit quietly, these these feelings also, or you know, you feel these these points in your body, and somehow they they try to get your attention. So that's not really doing, but it's it's somehow almost autonomous. You know, it's so close to to who you are that it's difficult to to keep that away and. During this session, it was really calm, but I'm noticing that during the day when I'm active, that that somehow enhances the the distraction. True, true. Yeah, it happens like this. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Do you do you have any any question or confusion about it or? Well. <laughs> I'm noticing it, but I'm, I'm maybe looking for some advice or guidance on how how to handle that. Oh. Or you know. one thing which is very fundamental in different angles I have seen in my life, which I am going to share with you in in this relation. Like in one one way or the other, we all are seeking for some space. No, some space. We want a space, which is not filled by anything. No. Meaning, maybe in our understanding, we can fill it whenever we want, but we want some space which is virgin, some space which has not been polluted or used by something. You know, so this is the feeling we all have. Even in relations, we have we want space, and uh, you know, like this. In meditations, particularly, we used to have that. Hey, I'm I'm kind of not in a good space now, so I don't want to meet you, or or, or like this. From where that space comes, that is what I want to share with you. I have worked on uh, also uh, like meditated in this direction, and uh, what I found is that uh, mostly we try to um, try to clean clean the present space that we have inside us by removing the things, like removing the number of items or feelings or thoughts like this, which is a good enough way for most many people when we when we are interested in living as a person, no. So this is where balancing things and all will be fine. But uh, when we want to know ourselves beyond being a person, when we want to discover ourselves and live ourselves as the presence, that time cleaning up that this space is not required. Something else is po uh, possible that is directly living our own essence. So when we are living our essence, what exactly happens? Let me just try to try to point. Meaning, it's not possible really in words, but. As you are listening very carefully, what exactly happens is that the space of our being is much, much more bigger than the space of this body, mind, and you know the, where the feelings are happening, which is pure. That space of our being is pure, and it is already present right now, also, in all the time, also. So, what exactly happens during this kind of guiding or any other time is that. What we call our self, which is actually consciousness, that we the self uses to know things, or to register things. That okay, this is what it is. During this meditation, the consciousness, or what we call in general mind, in the bigger picture, that registers the space of being. That ha, ah, it acknowledges that it is, it is there. And then in the day, in the daily life, when you will feel cluttered. All of a sudden, some from somewhere, this uh, insight will come that, hey, there is a spaciousness in me. I, I remember I, I met, I was meditating, and it will be available for you that time also. 
you will feel ah okay so lot of pure spaciousness a little bit of spaciousness of body mind and uh, you know this is happening you will feel it it's all right i don't mind it you know i don't mind it this is a very ancient wisdom which uh, i found in different examples or different pointings of great masters one of the example was that there was a boy living in a zen monastery and uh, serving the master zen master and he said that 10 year old or something that i want to know the truth like i want to reach to the purity of my being or like like what to do what is the way then he said to bring a glass of water and a, uh, a spoon uh, full of salt mix it he mixed it he said taste it uh, the boy tasted how does it taste he said very salty he said okay now bring the um, a spoon uh, full of salt and come with me behind the ashram where he had a big lake he said mix it here he the boy mixed the salt in the lake taste now the boy tasted the lake how does it taste master asked the boy said it's, it's still very sweet so master said this is the answer discover the bigger lake inside you no need to dilute things which are in you they will be effectively get diluted meaning in the <coughs> in the bigger perspective <coughs> <coughs> in the bigger perspective of the spaciousness of our being they will be found to be almost nothing like yeah it's fine i don't mind like this so this is i think uh, <coughs> something very simple which meditation can provide us this is what is discovering discovering ourselves not creating ourselves thank you very nice talking to you Thank you. Thank you.